Today I'd like to tie for you a bead head olive nymph. The hook I have in advice is a 5262. This is a size 12. This is a two extra long, two extra heavy nymph hook. And it's from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I have a three millimeter silver bead. You can use whatever color bead you'd like. I'm going to start out with 15 thousandths wire and I'm just going to put about a dozen wraps on there and we're going to break that off there we go push that wire right inside the bead and we can break off the back I'm going to use olive thread and I'm going to start that behind the wire and secure the lead wire. Go back and forth a couple of times. And these lead wraps are go is going to help us determine where the thorax will be. We're going to take that thread back to the rear and yeah, we're going to break off the excess for the tail I have an olive hackle and we're going to take a section of the barbels and we're going to tie them in and you want them to be about the length of the body and tie them down. I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail. Now for the abdomen I'm going to start with the rib and this is going to be a green or olive colored fine copper wire. And we're going to tie that in and secure that. The abdomen, I'm going to use a dark olive floss. Cut those to even them out. And we'll make the tag the size of the abdomen. Tie that on and bring it back to the tail. And then bring that back, the thread back up. We're going to start by taking the floss Pull that tight so you don't get any loose ones. And we're going to wrap the floss. Come up to the abdomen. Go on top of the lead wrap just a little bit. I'm going to bring that back and stop short and bring it forward and that will help to make a tapered body there yeah now we'll tie that off put a few wraps in front of it and we can get rid of the excess Now we're going to take that, cut that wire, that olive wire, and we're going to counter wrap. And we're going to palmer this forward for the rib. And we'll tie that off. You can put an extra wrap at the front. And you can see it unraveled, but I've got it secured now. And I'm going to wrap it forward just for the security. Take that and helicopter that off.
and bring that thread back Watch your thread doesn't catch the wire and go back. Now for the wing case, I'm going to use a bunch of peacock hurl. And this is a good uh, time to use those broken peacock hurl on your strung peacock. Get all those broken ones out. There's the backs. And we're going to tie down that wing case. I'm going to take that hackle I'm going to tie that in by the tip to secure it hold that tip back tie that in We're going to take that hackle and we're going to push it all forward and this is going to make the legs and we can get rid of that hackle there's our split legs And get rid of that excess. Now I'm going to take dark olive crystal dub for the thorax. And we can wrap the thorax. I'm going to take those legs and I'm going to fold them back. Just fold them back and wrap a few times right in, in front of them. back on them to keep them going towards the rear. Now we can take our peacock hurl and secure that. And we can break off the excess. If we break them off we won't have anything sticking out. Or very little. I'm going to put just a small pinch of dubbing on the head. Not just enough to hide the threads. Take our whip finish. And here we have a bead head olive nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.